In recent history, the country of Serbia has produced quality NBA players like Nikola Jokic, Bogdan Bogdanovic, and Nikola Jovic. There's one prospect in this upcoming 2024 NBA draft that is going to be Serbia's next star. And that player is Nikola Topic. Being named Nikola and also being from Serbia might just be a cheat code. We have Nikola Vucevic, Nikola Jokic, Nikola Jovic, and now Nikola Topic. Topic is an extremely intriguing and unique draft prospect. He currently is on KK Mega Basket of the ABA, the same team Nikola Jokic played for and won MVP for before he moved to the NBA. With a draft class that isn't the strongest compared to recent drafts, Topic is one of the most underrated guys who I think can climb all the way up into being a top 10 pick. This past summer, he led Serbia to gold at the FIBA U18 European Championships while also being named MVP of the tournament. He's an 18 year old point guard who's pretty tall at 6'6 with a 7 foot wingspan. So far this season, he's averaging 18.8 points per game, 7 assists per game, and 3 rebounds per game, ranking 2nd in the ABA in points per game. He can score from all levels, from the mid-range, on a drive to the basket, or also the 3-pointer. He has the size and strength to impose his will on the defense. One of his biggest strengths is his attacking in the paint, and he's currently leading the ABA in points in the paint per game as a point guard. That's due to his ability to absorb contact in the lane while also being a very creative finisher who can finish with both hands consistently. He's one of those guys who has great footwork, who can play at his own pace, and also knows how to successfully decelerate at the rim, which actually ends up helping him score more. With this first step, Topic is great at getting from point A to point B with the ball in his hands, something that is very impressive and mature for a player his age. In that aspect, he reminds me of Luka Doncic, who also plays the game at his own pace and can excel at finishing at the rim. Topic sure loves the paint, as 59.8% of his shots this season so far are coming at the rim and he's scoring 1.38 points per shot which ranks in the 80th percentile while also shooting 69.2% from the field in the paint. In terms of playmaking, he has great passing vision and instincts. He's extremely efficient in the pick and roll as a passer. His assisted turnover ratio this season is pretty solid, currently sitting around 2. Due to his great finishing ability, his drives to the rim actually open up lots of playmaking opportunities that he takes advantage of and either hits the roller or hits a player on the perimeter for a wide open catch and shoot 3. His decision making on the pick and roll allows him to be lethal as both a scorer and a passer when utilizing it. Topic is terrific at changing angles to set up the roller or kicking out to shooters. For KK Mega Basket, he is the primary ball handler, which is why you see a somewhat high turnover number. But if you look at his turnover rate, it's actually currently 18.72%. So in comparison to some other point guards around the league in their last season before the NBA, he's doing pretty well. Shea Gilgis Alexander or SGA, his turnover percentage was 19.8. Tyrese Halliburton, probably the best passer and playmaking point guard in the NBA, his turnover percentage was right around 20%. And John Morant, not the best playmaker, but still, he's good at it, 22%. Topic's main two strengths are finishing around the rim and creating opportunities for his teammates. On ball, he's just so lethal because of the many things he can do with it, but I will say he does have two weaknesses. The two main red flags I see in Topic's game are his defense and shooting. While yes, he can hit from NBA range, consistency is something we have yet to see from Topic's deep ball. He's only shooting 28% this season from 3, we're only 9 games in, so we'll have to wait and see whether his jumper can hold up. In past seasons, his efficiency from 3 has been up and down, so we truly don't know what to expect from him from 3. However, he still is a good free throw shooter, consistently shooting above 80%. He does shoot a good number of 3s per game, most of those being pull up jumpers or in transition. In terms of mid range or catch and shoot shots, Topic has a slower release, with little elevation on his jumper, which could hinder his ability to hit those shots at the NBA level. While I am concerned about his defensive ability, I think it will be fine in the long run. Players who all excelled in Europe like Luka Doncic, Nikola Jokic, and Alperin Sengun all were so gifted offensive players that they are now playing amazing in the NBA while still being subpar on defense. If anything, his lack of defensive ability will actually make teams overlook him in the draft. Coming into the draft, Luka Doncic was criticized for his lack of defense, and Alperin Sengun fell out of the lottery because of his. In today's modern day NBA, offenses are so talented that players can be extremely valuable for franchises without much defense, which is what I think will happen to Topic. Overall, Topic's comfort level running the pick and roll combined with the scoring at the rim and playmaking is such a unique combination for a player his age. In a draft class that has plenty of question marks, Topic could easily continue to climb up the ranks. Thank you guys for watching this video where I talked about Nikola Topic, one of my favorite and one of the most underrated prospects in all of basketball coming from Serbia. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There's two videos on the screen I think you'll like. Click on those and watch those. I'll catch you in the next one. Like and subscribe and peace.